Vec and IMSA, two legendary racing series. But if they are running the same cars, why do they feel so different? Welcome to part two of our Vec and IMSA tech series. Today, it's LMH versus LMDH. LMH or Lemon Hypercar is Vec's top class. Manufacturers build full prototypes from scratch. Toyota, Ferrari, Peugeot, all custom machines. LMDH or GTP in IMSA is spec based. Teams pick one of the four base chassis, then add their own engine and bodywork. It's cheaper, faster to develop, and still seriously quick. LMH cars can be hybrids or not. Toyota, Ferrari, Piojo run all wheel drive setups with cars on the front axle. LMDH cars must be hybrid. Rear wheel drive only, using a standard Bosch MGU, Williams battery, and extract gearbox. Same hybrid idea, very different layout. Aero is tightly regulated. Both class get a 4 is to 1 downforce to drag ratio. LMH cars are wind tunnel tested in Europe. LMDH in the US. Small differences, big effects. Power is capped at 670 horsepower, but how you get there varies. LMH Twin Turbo V6 Ferrari, Toyota, Peugeot, a single turbo V6 Alpine, and even a V12 Aston. LMDH Twin Turbo V8s Porsche. BMW, a big naturally aspirated V8 Cadillac, and a twin turbo V6 Acura, all of them balanced by power gain. A BOP system that adjusts power based on speed introduced at Le Mans 2024. Teams upgrade through Evos and Jokers. Evos are full updates, new aero, electronics, etc., fully homologated. Jokers are quick fixes outside the normal update cycle. VEC teams can use jokers mid-season, but in IMSA, there is a gentleman agreement to use them only between seasons, making development more stable. In 2024, LMDH cars have beaten LMH in VEC, and LMH is finally entering IMSA. The gap's closing, but under the hood, they are still worlds apart. This was part 2 of our VEC and IMSA tech series. Follow for more.